Okay, so we are at 25th Avenue and 80th Street right now. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Does make sense now. So I'll be heading towards Broadway and we'll see how long it takes. So it's gonna be like around 25 to 30 minutes, I guess, because uh, on my earlier video, I noticed that. At this pace, it will take around 25 to 30 minutes to reach Broadway in Queens. Hmm. Is this a playground for kids, I guess? Yeah, looks like. I don't know if you guys can see from the video. Our Lady of Fatima School. Nice. to 30th Avenue. Yeah, I think we can go, we're gonna run. Yeah, we made it. Which is I just had to run, <clears throat> which is fine. And not quite sure what should I be doing afterwards. I'm planning to walk down to some other street. I'm not quite sure where exactly that's gonna be, but Excuse me. <clears throat> Before I go home, I'll grab some food as well. So apart from walking on 80th Street, I think I would have to go or walk on at least on some of the streets as well. So, let's see. Pretty windy. It's actually a beautiful day. I don't know how to say it, but it's a beautiful day. Fairly quiet. Seems like it's a mosque. Kind of weird. Oh yeah, I think there's an entry at the back, I guess. Cool. One downside of GoPro video is that GoPro tend to get really really hot after 30 40 minutes so I remember uh, in one of my video you will see me 
walking on 55th Street without stopping non-stop walking from east side to west side of Manhattan and boy oh boy the camera got really really hot I mean of course that was like 45 minute long video at 4k so yeah it was expected but I honestly didn't expect the whole unit to get that hot it was so hot I eventually had to take the battery out and then leave it open to cool it down so the hot air could come out and then after 10-15 minutes later I actually changed the battery but the battery was super hot it's not the unit but it's a battery that was really really hot so I had to change the battery luckily I had an extra battery with me because I knew walking from east side to west side on in Manhattan gonna take a lot of time and maybe maybe just in case I may need an additional battery just to make other videos so I had an additional battery with me and it wasn't a problem but I realized if you are making a 4k video which is more than 30 minutes long it's gonna get really really hot and especially in this tiny body you really do not have that much place to dissipate the heat and I have a <clears throat> I have a plastic cover kind of thing to rubber plastic kind of thing I mean I don't know how to say it but I do have a plastic case kind of thing to protect this camera if in case I if, if in case if this camera falls from my hand you know do I have strap but still tied to the pole the strap tied to the pole and in my wrist but still if the camera falls into the ground I'm pretty sure it's gonna get damaged so I have a plastic case rubberized case which I believe will absorb some of the shock in case if I drop it so that is another reason why the heat cannot go out from the chassis so I'm assuming that could be the reason why the camera gets so hot I'm touching the camera right now just to understand how hot it is that's not that hot also it's windy so I think I'm okay for the time being so let's focus on making a video I'm not quite sure uh, if it is okay to go on talking about a lot of random things while making the video or if you guys do like videos when I'm not talking at all Flower. It's a beautiful flower, man. People got good taste. It's 
some at least <laughs> not everybody all right guys i think we are back to northern boulevard right now I got four seconds to cross the street. I don't think I'm gonna make it. So I would rather let it go. Rather wait on the shed for a few minutes. And I think we can cross I think a few more blocks Thirty fourth Avenue. Okay.
I'm willingly turning the camera so the children of the babies <clears throat> whoever passing me I do not catch or take their photo or videos that's the goal here guys you, I know I said it a couple of times already but I'm keep repeating the same mantra so that you understand why exactly I'm turning the camera like upside down sometimes YouTube. I got that mail from YouTube recently that talks about emphasizes on privacy and others issue so Twenty mile per hour. Sometimes you will notice, even though whoever is driving, he or she knows the speed limit. Even in New York City, sometimes they do not follow that. When you ask them, when you question them that why you are driving so fast, they will deny it. And if you're not a law enforcement officer, they'll be like, who are you to ask that question? As if like people are not part of the society. They do not have moral ground to ask questions if you're doing something wrong. I think everyone should have that right as a citizen of this country or maybe society however you want to see it if you're doing something wrong you can be questioned yes law enforcement officers are there absolutely but asking them politely or to question them i didn't see it to be wrong sometimes no matter whatever the reasons are you may have your valid reasons to drive fast maybe I do not know it's all subjective but if you say yes I had a reason I mean yes maybe you do have a valid reason but still the law is there you cannot go beyond that speed limit should not I don't know I don't want to get political over this issue I just want everybody to be safe and sound I do not want or expect anybody to be driving you know in a manner or in a way that could potentially put somebody else's life at risk that's the whole point that's the entire point of all this discussion hmm. officers are here for some reason yeah whenever see whenever I see 
NYPD car, I feel a little safer. I don't know about everybody, but that's the way I feel. up there <laughs> we are at 80th street and on Roosevelt, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Would have been better to have a sign, but I did not see a sign. is 41st Avenue and we are done for today take care guys bye bye